Alright, so I'm about to have my hair cane road. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so here's the story behind this this one now. Basically, I don't like camera my hair too often. So <laughs> the last time I had it done was in December. Yeah, and I took it out two days ago. I don't like having to do my hair too often. Plus, for some reason, my hair doesn't really like smell and stuff. So when it is in cane rows, it's fine. So that's why I don't have to take it out so often. But yeah, you might know I'm transitioning to natural. So this is basically all the chemically processed parts of my hair that's left. But she's going to cut it off for me. You guys have met her before in my other video, which I'm going to put here. But I'm in her house now because I got it like that. <laughs> she's going to do my hair in her house today yeah I am gonna camera this usually I just have it camera all back so it can fit my wigs but yeah we're gonna show you how we do it so she's just gonna do a few braids going all the way back and um, yeah it just helps my wigs fit better and obviously um, it's protective also for me as I'm transitioning to natural
So I'm home and I have thrown on one of my brand new stocking caps. It's just a black, it's very light stocking cap so um, my head's still able to breathe and I don't get too hot and whatnot. And so yeah, it's just a plain stocking cap and you can see it's quite thin, you can probably see through it. It's almost like tights and I think they're about one ninety nine from the stores. Some are like a pound, they're really cheap. Yep, yeah, and it stays on my head all the time. So I always have a stocking cap on underneath my wigs all the time. I just prefer it. Um, I don't. So I guess it's some kind of like safety thing I have. I just feel like I should have one underneath all my wigs. And of course, when I don't have my wigs on, my head looks at least the least bit presentable. Yeah, if you're transitioning, let me know what you're using on your hair and how it's going and stuff. A lot of people on Snapchat have been messaging me and saying how I've found my experience and this is not my first time transitioning but it is my first time actually paying attention to the transition I think it's gotten a lot tougher my hair was a lot softer before when I was a bit younger but now it's quite tough and it hurts a lot more as well these days before when my hair was natural it never really used to hurt um, it's growing and I'm glad it's growing and I think another thing because I keep my hair in cane rows for so long, my hair's just able to literally just grow out. The reason why I do that is because I just feel like I, I don't feel the need to do it so often. That's why I'm able to keep my hair in cane rows for so long. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody else, but it's what I like to do and it's what I do because it's my hair. And when I do take it out, I just wash it, blow dry it, put some hair moisturiser on it, on my scalp, I should say. And yeah, that's it. I don't really do anything else to it, but if there's anything else that you found that has helped you through your transition, do let me know. 
and of course please let me know things that I'm able to purchase in the UK because I can't get American hair products guys please help me out here and besides that I'll be seeing you guys in my next video so please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you next time bye